Well, here we are again on this Friday morning, and we have again the privilege of having Bill Rogers join us for a, a third episode here to talk about any number of things. Bill, good to see you again. Thanks for coming back. Thanks, Dennis. Good to be with you. So, so Bill, I, you know, I've been fascinated to just follow your career um, and to go back and reminisce a little bit, look back on it. I got to know you. Uh, actually, I think I first met you when you were the director of golf at San Antonio Country Club. But long before those years, you had uh, a decade and a half or so out there on the PGA Tour, but uh, with many, many accomplishments. Ryder Cup, my goodness. Uh, I know you developed a lot of friendships from those years, a lot of friendships on the tour, but let's, let's go back a chapter. Uh, you were recruited by the, the great Dave Williams at the University of Houston, and you played your college days at the University of Houston. And, of course, if anybody knows anything about NCAA Division I golf, they'll know that Houston is, is the longtime champion of champions, like 15 or 16 or so national championships. So I, I know – just because of conversations with you, you, you arrived as a young green freshman at the University of Houston, and one of the first guys you met became a lifelong friend. Talk, talk about friendships across your college years and, and a little bit through your PGA career, Ryder Cup, and, and how these men are still, still close to you. Yeah. Well, uh, forever grateful having landed at the University of Houston Court. Of course, Coach Williams uh, had a his strong suit was recruiting, and uh, he literally recruited all around the world. He uh, there wasn't anybody that could play a little bit that Coach Williams didn't talk to and try to get to come to the University of Houston. I really had no business; I didn't have the credentials to be there. But he uh, he saw fit to offer me a scholarship and. Um, man, I was quick to take it. I can promise you that. But I walked in the door with Bruce Litsky, my lifelong best friend. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Bruce a little early four years ago and think about him about every day of my life. But uh, we uh, uh, we just hit it off as best friends from the uh, very first day. Bobby Watkins was a part of that freshman class as well. We're best of friends. And uh, we joined 20 others as a freshman class, believe it or not. And that 23 uh, joined 21 others. So there were 44 of us on the University of Houston golf team. That uh, would give you an idea of how large coach recruited. But um you know, the friendships made there. Jim McLean was on the team, John Mahaffey, Tom Jenkins, some names that maybe some of your audience would remember, but there were a cast of thousands that could really play golf. And I think I mentioned earlier to you, our second and third teams were probably uh, easily top 10 in the country type uh, squads. I, we, uh, we had a lot of talent and it was a great place to refine your skills, especially all of us that had tour aspirations. And that was about, everybody that was at Houston, everybody wanted to get to the tour. So anyway, tremendously blessed. Uh, I think um, really in the beginnings of it were in college, but uh, gosh, I played in such a wonderful era of golf. Um, my amateur days, college days, uh, and then ultimately tour days, I, I got to touch so many wonderful people. And that's not to discount what goes on today. They're doing it wonderful. But I got to see some of the uh, ones, actually play with some of the ones that cultivated the PGA Tour and, uh, you know, made some of my absolute, as I mentioned, lifelong best friends in college, uh, not only just at school, but, you know, the uh, from Gary Coke to Ben Crenshaw, Tom Kite, Curtis Strange. Um, gosh, I could go on and on. Andy Bean, uh, Andy North, just lots of tremendous players that I was able to uh, journey with on the PGA Tour. And, man, we loved it. Uh, of course, the gift of youth, there's nothing like it, man. Just, just get us to that first tee again and let us, let us, let us have a chance. We want another chance. But... Um, these uh, Jerry paid. I didn't mention Jerry, but uh, you know, he Bruce Litsky's brother-in-law. He uh, today is one of my very great friends and we've done a lot of life together, spend our family, spend time together, but uh, hardly a week that goes by that we don't speak. 
uh, or let me just say, he speaks. I, I, I listen. I've turned in. I know God is trying to teach me to be a better listener. And he's given me friends like Jerry to uh, work on that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, t- tremendously blessed. Uh, golf has been a very important platform. Uh, uh, you know, I'm grateful for the uh, success of the ups and downs and all arounds. It's all meaningful in, in this in this journey. But uh, it's 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 been a great platform with which to reach people and in this uh kind of season of life uh and it's it's been important because it's a great uh maybe god's best entree to to reach people it's uh it's been it's been a a, a real blessing yeah you know i know you'll know the verse but when we're talking about friendships i'm always reminded of that verse in john where jesus says I'm no longer calling you servants because servants don't know what the master's up to or his business. I now call you friends. And that at first just always blows my mind that I was once, we were once enemies to God and now Christ has made us friends and and then given us lifelong friendships. A year and a half ago or so, I was with you. You were speaking down in Southern Alabama at a men's retreat or we're playing golf and, and, uh, and I, Jerry, Jerry, your buddy drove over and I got to watch y'all go back and forth. It was hilarious. I'm reminded, you know, of that uh, series you, done years ago. I forget the gentleman's name, but he talked about love languages. And I, I left there thinking, well, the love language between Bill and Jerry's trash talk. They just can go back and forth with one another. I was laughing all the way home. <laughs> Well, you gotta gotta defend yourself sometimes, but you know, uh, Dennis. One thing I'd like to say, of course, in in your journey, your world has been a lot about the kind of meeting out theologically, the word preaching, and that, that's been uh, the lane you've been in for a long time. But I only say that in talking about uh, sometimes we get pretty wrapped up or confused in in trying to figure out the wonder uh, of what God's given us and. Sometimes I just arrive at what you just said, the verse about uh, just trying to be a friend, because uh, ultimately Jesus uh, is 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 our friend. And uh, at the end of the day, boy, there's a there, uh, pretty important factor in all of this is, is, is being there and being a friend. Yeah, well said. Well, I hope you gentlemen and ladies out there and in the Lynx Fellowship have enjoyed this Friday. We'll come back again next Friday and talk a little bit more about Bill's journey and his faith journey. And and so God bless, and we'll see you next Friday.